Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky, and I am here with the final part, oh, I put a baby wipe on here, whoopsies, I'm here with the final part of my Journaling by Fives journey, so this Journaling by Fives is created by Shannon Green, I'll put her link down below, and it's just a really quick, easy way how to make an art journal, so I've done parts one to five, and I'm adding a part six, which is going back and adding some um, texture paste and some stenciling to add some extra little bits of awesomeness. So if you haven't checked out my first part, it'd be a good idea to start with part one. I'll link them all down below so you can have a look um, and follow them before you get to part six or 5B. Let's call it 5B. Um, so check out Shannon Green as well to see the full thing. So I have got my 20 journal pages which are almost all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my Color Blast um, texture paste and I have them in several colors. So I've got lipstick, rose, petal, bling, snow white, envy and deep water. And then I've got my stamps out just in case I see something that like a, a little empty spot that needs maybe a bit of extra stamping. I've also got these which I think are really really cool. They're splatters but not sure how I'll use them. I've got I'm limiting myself to just two um, ink pads for those and then of course the black for my other stamps. And then I've got a variety of stencils so I've got um, this is Tim Holtz Arrows Tim Holtz Alphabet, Simon Says Stamp, Tiny Hearts, Tim Holtz Random Little Circles. I don't know where I got that one from. Mm, could be Hip Kit, not sure. Uh, Scraptastic one that I got. I th think. Not sure about that one either. Memory Box Little Stars and Flutter by Designs Arrowy thing. So I might not use them all but I just got out a few different ones and I got ones that kind of had smaller designs because I don't want to use too much texture paste. So before I get started I'm just going to prepare a spot just over there so I can lay everything flat. That's very important if you're doing this extra little step. You need a place to put your wet stuff. Alright so I've got a space and if you hear noises Aaron's scanning some goodies because I'm looking to put some stuff in my Etsy store, which is exciting. Um, so I'll put the link to my Etsy store down below. Definitely going to use the gold. I don't know if I'll use the white. I'll put it there anyway. I'm going to open them up just to make life a whole lot easier. Um, but yes, so Aaron's scanning some goodies that I'm going to be putting in my Etsy store which is fun times ahead so they'll be released um, they might even be released before this video goes up we'll see how we go alrighty so let me move these to the side on your marks. I'm not going to put on a timer for this one. I'm just going to go and do. I'm just trying not to think about it too much, but I'm just going to go and do. So this one, let's see. Maybe some stars, maybe some purpley stars. There we go. So I'm just smushing it around. Okay. And I'm going to put some down here just to balance it out a little bit. Perfect. All right. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go through and find another one that could do with purple stars and do kind of two of the same one just to make cleaning my stencils a lot easier plus I still have a ton <laughs> of this is it rose petal? I think it's rose petal um, on my palette brush and why bother cleaning it off when you've still got some to use plus this color blast stuff is quite expensive so <laughs> I prefer not to um, not to waste it there we go pop some there 
Oh, that's cute. And might even put some up here. Okay. So, how are you going with your journaling by fives journey? Um, as I said in my last video, I think I'm going to try and get Aaron to do some journaling by fives with me. I'm not sure how he feels about that yet. <laughs> I'm not sure if he can hear me right now. Huh? No, he can't hear me. It's okay. <laughs> um, and then the reason why I'm not putting the timer on with this one, just because there is going to be a lot of cleanup needed because you can't leave this color blast stuff in um, on your stencil because it will dry and it will affect the the cleanness I guess or the sharpenedness of your stencil so there is going to be a little bit of cleaning up here but that's okay that's all right alrighty now this one hmm what can we do with you what about what about no that could work though Um, no, see this is where not having a timer will suck a little bit because I'm going to um and ah a lot. <laughs> this time I'm going to do the lipstick colour and I love these random circles. I think they're really, really cute and I'm not going to do the whole stencil, just bits that I happen to scrape across. So I'm going to be quite carefree in my application. I'm sorry if the camera is shaking too because the camera is connected to the desk and in order to use the desk the camera may shake. <laughs> so yeah I think that'll look cute. Ah, oh, pretty! That looks amazing, if I do say so myself. And I always like to balance stencils out when I use them. So if I do some in one corner, I like to bring it down to the other corner. Maybe not as in like as heavy, but I do like to kind of echo it from the top and the bottom. Cute! All right, and I am going to dry these before I show you the final product because they go glimmery, which is really nice. All right, the next one, this one, you can do with some spots too because it's here and it's open and it's ready to go. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you created a sneaky little um, extra step in your journaling by fives. I just felt like they weren't a Dell enough because you've got to leave your own, oh, I just put a spot in a face and it's going to look like a giant pimple. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, you've got to make them your own style. And my style is modeling paste and all sorts of bumpy textured goodness. So, and it's hard to do this within um, a time limit. There's her pimple. Oh, now I've got some on her booby. Okay. And maybe just a bit of sporadic one up here. So not very dense, just very sporadic. Very random because it's so hip and happening. And presto. So I'm not taking too long, but I'm not putting myself to a timer for this one. Um, something else that needs some. No, that's the wrong color. About one of these ones that I'm not a fan of, like this one. This one just just didn't really work for me. I don't I don't know what it was. And sometimes that will happen, but it doesn't mean you throw it out. It means that, you know, it just goes to show that you don't have to be perfect all the time. Which is nice because sometimes we do get the pressure to always, you know, have everything perfectly presented and that's not what being creative is all about. Sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes you have fails and you know what? Include them anyway because in years to come, you'll be able to look back at it and go, oh, I remember when I used to do that or um, oh, I haven't tried that for ages. I wasn't the best at it back then, but 
maybe I'll try it now and maybe you'll be fabulous. So with this step you have got to be careful that you're not putting it over really important like words and stuff which I'm sure I'm doing here. <laughs> um. Ah, cute. That makes me like this one a bit better, actually. Yeah, I like that. Um, and I've still got some on here, so let's do one more. This one. Yeah, we'll go from the top corner. And you can also make your own stencils. Um, I'm thinking of doing a little mini workshop on how to make your own stencils using both a like a, a manual die cutting machine and a electronic one and then also just your hands because your hands are pretty good at stuff as well so I'm thinking of doing that so let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd be interested in alright I got way too much then Adele the good thing is though with these color blast not sponsored by the way I just really like them um, is that you can scrape them back into the jar because it is the one color cute right. time for a change up I think and I know people are saying Adele what about you use it up journal and I know but right now I'm just trying to focus on this and if I start putting things in the use it up journal I'll get too distracted and we will be here all night long <laughs> so I will go and um, wash my stencils at the end of all of this with some warm soapy water but for now because I don't want to be pausing every two seconds to um, run to the kitchen I'm just cleaning them with a baby wipe can you hear that weird noise? We've been having this weird noise go on. I think there's something wrong with our fridge. But every so often the floor starts vibrating and there's this really low spooky tone like like an alien spaceship landing. <laughs> it's a bit strange. All right, this one I feel like let's go for some gold and maybe maybe this one. Don't know why, just I just felt like it really and I'm gonna go from here now this is a thicker stencil this is by my friend Anita from Flutterby Designs and um, so it does use up a bit more color blast than some of the thinner ones do and doesn't help when you keep the flappy thing on I don't think you need to keep the flappy thing on those pots but I don't know, I just seem to keep it on there. <laughs> so I'm making sure that my stenciling goes all the way to the edge just to make it look like it's just accidentally fallen onto the page. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, so let's do some down here as well and make sure that I don't cover up those words famous last words they might be um, I do like this stencil it's got a nice shaped arrow now I know that sounds really stupid <laughs> but sometimes arrows shapes don't appeal to me I like that that's gonna look so beautiful when it's dried yeah sometimes arrow shapes just look a bit like a bit stumpy or a bit a bit not quite right. I'm going to do some down here but not cover up my flowers but just kind of merge that camera paper and the um, and the, the floral paper together I think. Yeah that's nice and maybe just a tiny bit down here like a teeny tiny bit only a couple of arrows worth and the great thing about doing this step is that you don't have to use like the whole stencil you can just do little parts that you would like and just do a little bit up here so like I said when you dry these the color really 
comes all out. There we go. Cute. All right, I think it's time to dry this one. So if you haven't already, head over to my main, this is my second channel. My main channel is called Inky Quill. Um, it's where I do paper crafting, scrapbooking, craft organization. Um, and I'm in the middle of the Inky June Marathon where I do a video every single day for every day in June, which is, I really like it. It's a lot of work, but gosh, it's fun. And it's great to see like, people trying out new like techniques that I show and it's just really nice and over on my um, Facebook group Scrapaholics Anonymous you know it's nice to see people see things in videos and then give it a try themselves it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside <laughs> so here I think I'm going to add to these little hearts because this is one of my favorite ones and I don't want to do too much to it but I'm going to come in with some of the white and just do just a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there. Not much for this one, I don't think. So it's just like an extra hint of hearts. Yes! Don't you love it when you have something in your head and then it just works? <laughs> Makes up for all those many more times when you have something in your head and it completely doesn't work. <laughs> We've all been there. And then I'm going to cover up a lot of this part because there's not much down here. All right. Very cute. Let me just scrape off some of those bits that are a bit funny. Okay. Cute. All right. So that's that one. And then another one that, oh, what about that really dark one? Yeah, this one. This could do with some white hearts, I think. Or oh, could that one? No, maybe this one. Okay. So just a little bit. Make sure my stencil's straight. And just a little bit here. A little bit there. Not everywhere. I'm down here. So yeah, so what what has everyone been up to mixed media -y lately? Have you, let me know in the comments, do you do um, like mixed media canvases? Do you have an art journal? Let me know where you're at because it's it's interesting to learn from each other and to, um, to see what everyone's up to. Oh, cute. Are you a beginner? Is this your first little look into mixed media or have you been doing art journaling for donkey's years? <laughs> Myself, I I was always the art nerd at school. Um, so I had a big like visual arts diary that I, mine was, I had two for year 12 and everyone else just had one and didn't even fill them up. <laughs> but mine were my babies and I loved using them um, and then I kind of gave up not gave up being arty but gave up like doing it in a journal as such I used I kept painting I paint pop art style um, portraits and a bit like Roy Lichtenstein if you know who he is um, so I kept doing that and oh, that's gonna be nice um, I kept doing that but I didn't really art journal and it wasn't until I went to a retreat last June July last July maybe yeah I think it might have been last July and I met the beautiful Lisa Oxley and she showed me her art journal and so I bought my first one and I got hooked so I've really only been doing art journaling for um, a year pretty much what can I do with this one um, oh, my hands are all gross and sticky. Baby wipe. Um, yeah, so I've only been out doing art journaling for a year, but I absolutely love it. And it's nice to... I love scrapbooking as well, which is my main, like, creative thing. But it's sometimes nice to let go a little bit more in art journaling and not... Um, maybe that one. No. And not, um, you know... 
the camera cut out rudely and cut me off. What I was saying, it's nice to just not be as like stuck in what you can do, just to be a bit more free. I'm wondering, I don't know, those arrows are really going to be quite big and I don't want to do the alphabet because I've already got alphabet there. The plus signs seem out of place. I could do the spots, they could work. Or maybe the scratchy chicken wire. I haven't used that one before. So I'm going to do the blue in this one. That was way too much, Adele. Everyone could see that it was too much, <laughs> except for you. <laughs> and I'm just going to... These stencils are great because they have all different patterns on them. So you can kind of... Do whichever ones you feel suit your page. And you get a whole heap of stencils for the price of one. Do some little dots there. I haven't, I don't think I've used, oh, I've only used this stencil once before, I think. I'm going to do a bit more down here so that it doesn't look like the same shape. Tricky, no one will ever know, except for everyone watching this video. <laughs> I like that. This blob's annoying me. I think I'm going to do there we go, a bit more down here. I may have just completely squashed everything. Oh no, it's okay. Yeah, that one's done. 